Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's time for Supreme Tyrant of Heaven Chapter 91. Many thanks to Mr. Alejandro Gomez for your donation. God bless you, sir. Before her death, the Nether Bloodbath turned herself into a curse and attracted everyone who was around her. She hoped that he knew would feel guilty because those people died because of him. However, unexpectedly, something that never bloodbath uh, imagine happened. Can you manage to remove the cross with his nine heavenly mysterious extinguishing fire? Can you also get rid of the curse that <coughs> that attacked Master Fu Yao, Leng Hian Shuang, and Ye Tong? This made the other warriors confess that they had grievously done wrong and now were begging to be saved. As fellow a human race, he knew intended to alleviate the suffering of the warriors that affected by the nether blood bad curse. But the warrior misunderstood about Shinyu's intention. The warriors thought that they would be saved. So, uh, actually, Shinyu had no intention of saving those warriors life because after all they were not worth to be savings this warrior only took of themselves so even if they died a thousand times there will be no regret in Hindu's hearts the bodies of the warriors slowly began to be eaten by another bloodbed resentment Hindu himself just watched them die slowly he then asked Master Fu Yao to bring Yan Ruo Bing with her to sacred her temple. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. Pain I felt is painful, all is said and done oh. I am restricted, fixed upon the web I need to kick the habit that my mind is breathing in Break out, I've got to see Spent all my life
Keep on.